live from America TV. This is uh, like one of these right wing groups. That's that's uh, if you don't recognize her, that is uh, um, Laura Loomer. And I guess nine syringes full of marzipan later, this is what she looks like. And she's on this show and they're all like super Trumpers, right? These, these folks are super Trumpers. Now check out, this is pretty spectacular. This is like, this is ultra MAGA, okay? This is what these people who, who like clamored for the ultra MAGA phrase, they were going to turn a negative into a positive. They were going to, they were going to polish that MAGA turd and make it, give it a spit shine. And this is how they feel about Marjorie Taylor Greene right now. And I waited to see what was happening because her and Matt Gates, you know, they like to stage these articles where they were with, I think it was um, either like the New Yorker or like Time. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over your lips smacking together because of the amount of fucking filler. Lord a mighty woman. Uh, this I, I'm just getting distinctly Daisy Duck vibes. In magazine, and they were like, "Oh, yeah, we we run McCarthy. You know, we control McCarthy, and we're never going to support McCarthy." And they were trying to act like badasses, and that oh, it's Marjorie and Matt Gates that control Congress. You guys, did I did I jump the gun? Do you get do you need time to pop some more popcorn? Have you already have you already burned through the first bowl? Okay. When they just caved to Kevin McCarthy in the end, anyway. Like even Matt Gates, he talked a big talk, and then what? Like. What, he doesn't have the balls to call for a motion to vacate? Well, oh, that's, okay, that's no. my big problem. Yeah, that's it. You're not even calling for a motion to vacate after that bill passed that kept us from cadavering the entire economy? What the hell, okay? Bro, totally. Yeah, yeah that's my big problem with him right now, because- And this little pretty boy, pretty boy Matt Gates is going to have a little showdown on the floor of the house for 15 votes with Kevin McCarthy, and then, oh, he's just going to vote for him in the end. I mean, look, it's just ridiculous. If the guy actually really didn't want to support Kevin McCarthy, and now you see him going on Bannon's show and, you know, talking a big talk with Lauren Boebert about how they're so anti- I, are you, Have you gotten you through your second bowl? <laughs> it's just like, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to, honestly, I'm like carbo loading before a, a weightlifting meet or something with the amount of popcorn that's going McCarthy, on. McCarthy, then why don't you call for a motion to vacate? If Fuck yeah, that's what I was saying, man. These my favorite, hey. Let me tell you something. It's my favorite show, man. The only shows I like better than the ones with the big wooden, uh, dirty American flag, like they like they had it made out of nice wood, and then they, I don't know, put it in the bottom of the outhouse for a year. I don't know where the... Are we supposed to pretend you, like, found that someplace on, like, you dug it up, like, right after World War II it, at Verdun or something? You're like, oh my God, this flag has petrified and turned into wood. Maybe in another 10,000 years, it'll be stone. Um, why don't you just have a clean friggin' flag? I mean, what? Hey, let me, let me tell you something to those stripes. It's okay to be white. Let me tell you. Well, I don't know why Laura Loomer's got a problem with that. I don't know. I do not know. But then I don't know why she has any problem with her original cheekbones. That's not my business. Isn't that what the concession was? One member of Congress is all it mm -hmm. would take? Yeah. I don't That's all it takes, man. That means, you know what that means? It only takes one. That means all of them, including like any of the ones you think you still like, like Biggs, like at, uh, what's that feller's name? The, the uh, Comer. Jim Jordan, that dude with the without the jacket, that's Mister Look the other way. That yeah, any of them could call for it. They ain't doing it. That mean you know what that means when you only need one. That everybody, everybody's full of shit. I don't so disagree. Are we just doing things for clicks and fundraising emails and. Oh my God, they such influencers. Know what I mean? Like I call people out on their bullshit. Thank you, ma'am. Absolutely. Because I, you know what I hate is people are two-faced. They got one face that they was born with and another one that they like puff up with marzipan like they got a shellfish allergy. They was trying to sneak by everybody. Yeah. You know? I hate that. She hates that. I hate that. You hate that. Everybody hates that. No. Well, I don't know. I mean, in some people, maybe it's a fetish. I don't know. Some people might like it. It's none of my business, really. But I do. I well, call people out. And, and I out. 
I'm not afraid to do it, which is why they all think that I'm crazy. They that ain't why. That ain't why. I mean, that's that sounds like you run of the mill politicking right there, calling somebody. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's your outhouse flag, and 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 a myriad of other reasons. I don't think it's that you've got criticisms for how the government is run. But what I know, man, I don't even. <clears throat> I ain't even registered as a. Well, I was originally. Green Party until I found out it wasn't about we they think that there's something wrong with me because okay uh no notes I got no notes on that one because I really do walk the walk and talk the talk I really genuinely believe that Kevin McCarthy is a cancer in our party and oh that's a lot that's it so what do you do with cancer obviously you don't uh, coexist with it do you that's pretty gnarly I flew to DC on my own dime to hold him accountable Really? Nobody, nobody, nobody wanted, nobody there in the whole city was like, yeah, I'll pop you 200 bucks for a Southwest flight. Nobody, not a, not a single person, not anybody, not any of these hardcore conservative organizations, not the Heritage Foundation, none, none, none of them. Cause I'm pretty sure I could go fund me a ticket to just about fucking anywhere, especially out of here. Cause man, they can't wait to get rid of me, but may, maybe that was your mistake. Maybe you ask the people where you were going for your flight. I bet you, I bet you a shit ton that if you ask the people where you are to pay for a flight, they'll pay for any flight, anywhere, as long as it's one way. I'm just saying. And then you do the same trick when you get to D.C. During the speaker's vote. And I asked people to, you know, investigate him for his crimes. Mm. And if I was in Congress, this is what I would be doing. I would be. Wait, you're not an elected official? I am shocked. Someone like you's got to have a base of of voter support that drives you. Again, I'm just saying, if you ran on a send me to DC and I won't come back, you, I, you, that's a ticket you could win on. I'm just saying, Laura Loomer. That's I'm just saying that you could make bumper stickers on that shit. But if you, dude, they'd outlaw term limits if you tried that. Your own, there'd be a revolt in your district if they ever tried to get rid of term limits. You ran on a vote for me and I'll go to D.C. and I ain't never coming back. He's calling for a motion to vacate every single day. Well, that's why they don't want real. Well, they got other, they got other shit to do. And so if you call for a motion to vacate every day, it's, that ain't. Dude, I, that's like saying, if I had my druthers, I'd have projectile diarrhea three times a day every day of the week as a weight loss plan real america first people in there um yeah and yeah that's what you want real america first people in there who will put up a motion to vacate every day let it fail because they ain't got the votes just to do it because that ain't hijacking the business of the entire friggin country for yourself that's putting America first. I ain't sure how, but I, I'm fairly certain. No, I still can't figure it out. I'm going to have to, you're going to have to write that shit down. Um, <laughs> hi, you're watching Hell Sparks Mega Worldwide. Um, the, it, like, I love when they go after each other. I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> 